small dark one or little darky is a complex character. At the beginning of listening to somebody's music, you usually know nothing about them or their personality. You're not going to just understand on the first listen. The same way you need to reread a book to fully comprehend the meanings behind every single chapter is the same way as listening to music. While the setting is taking in almost instantaneously each song Darky produces, the song artist and main character he is, and each individual song, take much longer to unravel. So much so that we don't really actually get his whole story until listening to over an album. In the beginning, all we really know of Darky is that he is a funny, satirical, humored song artist who can't find his lighter. But in the end, behind his humor, we notice something deeper. Is it empathy, understanding, or finding one's true existence? Whatever it is through his music can't be described as anything but raw emotions played through 808s. And it's impossible not to feel transported, not just into the mind behind a 2D animation, but into a different state of mind altogether. For those who are new, Lil Darky is an upcoming artist and producer from Long Beach, California who's on an onslaught against everybody. His music demonstrates what sets him apart from the rest, but if you take a deeper look at it, he isn't necessarily coming after anyone at all, but truly just finding himself. Joshua Hamilton, born in October 6, 1998, better known as Lil Darky, is an American rapper, producer, artist, and the founder of the collective group known as Spider Gang. Lil Darky started rapping around 2016 when he was 17, going into the name Brahmin. Brahmin was his oldest known persona. Most of his music is about his personal evolution, and I feel as if it has something to do about depression and plenty of other raw feelings that anybody else could have, honestly. On an interview I found featuring Darky, he states how he wasn't in the best mental state during middle school, and he says, when I took shrooms my ego died, so basically I died. That solved the problem. It's also about how my persona Brahmin died to make way for Lil Darky. So after that, he stopped using the name Brahmin over one year ago and switched completely to Little Darky. His animations, persona, and character are just an idea he came up with as something to live on, just to represent how he feels and for something to mosh to. Now at the beginning of listening to Little Darky, we are dropped in a complete mystery of censored loneliness and finding oneself, with nothing but animations and personality behind one's voice reminiscent of an era long gone. The animation in the vicinity of his music seems to be brought straight from the 1930s satirization of the way cartoons portrayed a black person. But there's plenty of evidence to let you know that Darky isn't black. The lyrics can sometimes be ironic and humorous, along with this whole persona being ironic. It just, it puts you in an open canvas. On the surface, you can take all of his words too seriously, unless you have an open mind for him to show you the constructive criticism to the real problems people face today. I am addicted to drugs and I'm sick of it. Smoke away the stress and then roll up another stick of it. I am addicted to drugs and I'm sick of it. Needle full of happiness, I tap the skin and stick it. One thing I love is that he does the opposite of the mainstream rappers, and is condemning drugs rather than glorifying it. Lil Darky is our vessel for this existential story, and this is why it makes him one of my favorite, ultimate song artists of all time. He inspired his own art style from his pain from feeling misunderstood, and does whatever he wants, not caring about the mainstream status quo or their ridiculous social standards. While ranging from the aggressive, ironic, energetic icon he is, to the calm music that you could sit and stare off in the distance with. You could get a heart pumping song or one that just makes you think deeper and refined of negativity. And the more you listen to it, the more you see the deeper meanings behind his words. But when someone speaks how they really feel about society, usually censorship follows. And without the freedom to criticize, there isn't much progress in our society altogether. And we want to suppress your opinion, fascist. We take away the First Amendment. All hell censorship. All hell or the feeling. I'm sure he wants the audience who are closed-minded to be offended. He doesn't care for the status quo. In some sense, when a society no longer really cares about the lyrics, they don't really care about anything at all. And most of his work is satirical, so he is clearly trying to be over the top ridiculous because in the battlefield of music, anything goes. Art exists to say things that most people can't, and do things that most people can't, making people more open to the infinite nature of our minds and a world where even censorship can take place. It's pretty clear the theme that Darky sets is that you don't really know what you have until it's gone. 
so he kept his raw emotion for his music so he could share it with his listeners. In this world, everyone is trying to find their own place and their own happiness. I would like to say that Darky, without a doubt, his persona lives on to make others realize that no matter what, if a topic is negative, why be sad about it? Some things are just left to be talked about. That's why I feel like edgy humor as a whole exists. We usually deem things as funny because they're true. Comedians and funny people alike have the ability to point out the great truths of society and reflect them back to us in an entertaining way. So if something is sad, why stay sad about it? We laugh because we can relate. By Darkie rapping about depression and real world issues such as drug abuse, he is exposing the truth and healing his pain as we heal our own. Listening to a new Darkie song feels just as good as it did back before he got more of a spike in popularity. It's a visceral and real take on life and the real issues we handle today, and the problems that anyone could come to terms with such as depression, questioning our everyday lives, or even being fed up with how society is. Now, before I end this video, I want to go off by saying Darkie's music actually has meaning, but he doesn't show it that well to the closed-minded people. If you listen to his lyrics carefully, and you open your mind and listen, you'll see that he's a very unique and talented artist. That being said, I'm a lucid, and as Darkie said, Sub to a lucid. I hope everyone has a good day. I love you all, and peace, peace. Fear my sounds where I found them. Share my fountain. Run away, run or stay and fight. Praying I befall my sight. Why'd I buy my time? Why'd I find my mind? Again. See my ego shifting, my friend made no mistake I am very sick of these men